Hello, I'm Sophie Von On. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back, depending on who you are. It's good to see you nonetheless. Today, I wanted to talk about how my incredibly optimistic Camp NaNoWriMo goals actually went. Because you have the goals video, you have the goals recap video. That's how things work. What were my goals in the first place? And if you'd like more information on these goals, I'm just going to give you the straight up facts. But if you want more of like what I was thinking at the beginning, I have a video out. So you can go see that too. So I had three goals for three different projects. Project what? My main project that I am working on. Project Glass, which is a sort of contemporary fantasy thing. And then Project Quest, which is a fantasy novel. A full-on fantasy novel. At least I'm going to make it a fantasy novel. Hmm. For Project What? I wanted to get 40,000 words or finish Act 1. Whichever one came second. So, if the 40,000 words was too much, then I'd finish Act 1 and go to the 40k. Or if the 40k was too little for Act 1, then I'd go until Act 1 was done. I'm pretty sure that was self-explanatory, but there it is. For Project Glass, I wanted to write 10,000 words, just 10,000 words, because that project was going real slow for me, and I just wanted to speed up that process. I just wanted to get it out so I can revise and change and all that good stuff. And then, for Project Quest, I was in the revision process, so I wanted to revise the entire book, which was 145 pages on, like, letter-sized paper. Those are my goals. 40,000 words, 10,000 words, 145 pages. How did that go? Well, let me tell you, because that's what this video is about. In Project What, I got 62,000 words as opposed to my 40,000 word goal. This was not all in Act 1, I assure you. Because I got the next few chapters in Act 2 during this month as well, um, you can see why here, but the 40,000 didn't even cut it for Act 1. I needed 45,000 words for Act 1, and then the next 17,000 was Act 2. In Project Glass, I got 10,021 words. And since then, I have written a little more, but I'm gonna say I got 10,021 because it's kinda great. And I'm actually almost done with that zero draft, which is strange because it is the most cards I've ever gotten for a story in like their plot before I've actually started writing that story and it's like gonna be like 23 to 25,000 words and I'm just now I thought this would be fun it, it served no purpose really but the highs and the lows what were my best word days and page days and what were my not as good word and page days for project what if I don't count the 10k day that I did on the last day of July just for fun, it would be 4,364 words, which I got actually on the first day of July. And then for the least that I got, I did have some zero days. I had two, maybe, but that was after I won, so I'm not going to count those. So <laughs> the lowest day that I do have was 757 words on the 14th of July. And if you would like to know, the zero days were on the 26th and the 27th of July for Project One. And then for Project Glass, my highest day was 23,061 words, and that was on the 26th when I won, which is kind of great. I, leading up to it, I think I got, I slowly got more and more words every day until I won which is, um, kind of spicy. And then the lowest were zero days. I had a lot of zero days, um, for this project. It, ten. Ten, to be exact. And then, for Project Quest, my highest day was 31 pages, which was on the 26th, which was when I won. And the lowest that I got were zero days as well. And, um, there were 11 zero days, as opposed to the ten for Project Glass, but... It was less work work, I feel, the revision, so I kind of understand why I had some zero days. I won Project Quest and Project Glass on the same day. 
and then I think I won Project What Skull the day before. Which kind of makes me mad because the graph that I have is now a little uneven and it's not fun. Alright, those are the stats. That's, that's the literal stuff. But how did I feel during this? My sound narcissistic, but how did I feel? Uh, not very good. <laughs> like, not like burnt out, because this this was a great month for me, I feel. It was very nice. But, there's a lot of doubt. I didn't think I was going to be able to do this, all three of these projects, by like, the end of the first week. I was like, I'm doing all the writing in Project What, I've gotten a few, maybe a thousand or so words in Project Glass, and I've revised like 20 something pages in Project Quest. But everything I'm doing is going into Project What. So maybe it'll just go like this for Project What and just close out the other two. And I was like, ooh, that's not good, I gotta regulate that. I needed to write 50,000 words. And you might be thinking now, like, oh, you wrote 60,000 in a single project, but this is what my thoughts were then. I write 50,000 words in a single month. And I was like, oh god, that's not gonna work, because even during the actual NaNoWriMo, I had to cut it to 25,000 when I actually did it. I got rid of that project. I might actually bring that project back, but I don't know. <laughs> but I've never written 50,000 words in a single month. And I was like, that's not good. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, especially because it was in two different projects. But I did, obviously. We're here now, and I know that I did, and that's kind of epic. And on top of the writing 50k, I wanted to revise a whole book. So that added to the whole, oh, I might not be able to balance my time correctly for all this. And just because I don't know what I'm doing, I wanted to read at least five books in July, and I wanted to read an extra set of things so I could research for my stories, which I didn't really do. Uh, whoops. But I still kept that goal up even if I didn't do it. And, which is, this is the craziest part of this whole thing, I finished before Camp NaNoWriMo ended. And then I did a 10k day because I, I don't know why. I don't, I don't get it. I finished before July was over. I thought I was gonna make a mad dash on the last few days, but I think a lot of it was uh, because I finished the Project What goal so early, like six days early, and I was like, okay, that one's done. That one's out, out of the way. I don't have to deal with that one anymore. I can just plow through my other two goals. And I did. <laughs> In the next day. And I also um, have a very, very fragile, like, ego and pride. And I knew that if I didn't hit all my goals, I would feel shattered. So that also, I in the back of my mind, was like, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta go, 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 go. So, let's, this is a where are they now part <laughs> for my projects, not for me. Um, but <laughs> for Project What, I'm already into Act 2. I am four chapters into Act 2, thanks to that 10k day. And I'm like in the thick of it. It's getting there. We're getting into the fun and games. I'm so excited. In Project Glass, I just wrote the climax of the book during that last day when I won. And now I'm kind of at like the, the rock bottom bits. The book is almost done, even though it's only going to be like 20 something thousand words. And um, I can't wait to actually start beefing that up because right now it's just a boom 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 as per usual. And, and, another and. There's three things, so it's going to be two ands. But <laughs> I am completely done with reviving Project Quest, so now I can actually start reworking it like I did for Project What. I can start world building, which I have, I can start replotting, I can start brainstorming subplot ideas, I can rework the characters, I can do all this now because my zero draft is in my brain and all its problems are in my brain and that's great. <laughs> the thing is, without 
July's Camp NaNoWriMo, I wouldn't have done this at all. Maybe, maybe somewhere in my brain I would have been like, oh, this month I'm going to get everything done. And maybe, maybe, but I wouldn't have the incentive to do it. My incentive was everyone else doing this with me. And I am very grateful for Camp NaNoWriMo because I don't know how long this would have taken me otherwise. I feel like it might have taken me months more to get to where I am in Project Glass. Writing would have taken a lot longer if I didn't have this. But I'm very thankful I do because I need to push just, I just need to push this stuff out before I can actually make it good. Yes. Yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm just very thankful for Camp NaNoWriMo and these crazy challenges that we have. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Um, and if you didn't watch my camp vlogs, I don't know why you're here. I guess you just wanted to speedrun my month, but thanks for being here. Anyways, I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, peace.